supplies. <laughs> you can say that two ways. Oh, <laughs> this is a lot of fun when you can start to prepare for the season. And based on my how to plan video, I'm just going to follow up with what I managed to source today. And well, if you want to join me, awesome. If not, eventually you will see these supplies in a few videos. So consider liking and subscribing. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's not going to stay this way for long. As of tomorrow, we're going to dip down into nasty temperatures and everybody is going to be hunkered down. So my timing is to have all this to keep me nice and busy and occupied when I go through boiling, cleaning and leaching all this stuff. which is Lekka, which we will open. We will check the quality and Lava Rock, which I will not open just yet, but I'll keep you posted as to whether it's good stuff, right stuff, the right size, etc. Shall we? Let's begin with the big stuff. Get that out of the way. I got pots. Yes, according to the shopping list. So I've got my 21 by 21. I've got two masks because I already had one mask. Happy. Let me check if all this is in frame. Goody, we're good to go with this size. Pots don't need more. And then I got the big one. This is 25 by 25. Again, let me check if that is in frame. <laughs> Woo, yes, it is. Uh, yeah, okay. I only put one of these sizes into the shopping list, but <laughs> you know how it is when you go shopping. And I appreciate everybody that said on the video, oh, I'm so organized, this, that, and the other. Thank you. I have to be for two reasons. <laughs> one is I can't remember things. I think I get everything right. I've got it all lodged in my head. I mean, it's not that much. No, the quantities aren't that high. <laughs> and then I stand in front of the pots and look at the sizes and my head goes into a tailspin and I doubt everything I thought I knew. <laughs> so that is one of the reasons and you'd think I was doing it for the first time when I have to get the inner pots. <laughs> you'd think I was buying inner pots for the first time. No, every single time I doubt myself and you know what happened this time? Little tangent alert. <laughs> I walked off with my shopping list. I thought I had it all complete but I forgot my mask because I have to take my mask with me so that I buy the right size. <laughs> I know, I've been doing this for so many years and still I would be totally, totally a mess. Anyway, my daughter went and got me these today just after I had finished <laughs> being at the garden center because, you know, she's got the car, she got me the lava rock and she got me the lecker as well. So I said, do you mind? And yeah, I know. So that's one reason for my lists. The other reason is that it takes my garden center, well, last year, it took my garden center four months to get the sizes that I was pending in order to do what I wanted to do. And for that reason, planning is somewhat important here in Southern Spain. Now, we are in February, ooh, and I'm thinking if I have to wait four more months, we're gonna be in June. And that matches approximately what happened last year. I could not get the 17 by 17 sets, unfortunately, in square. And I couldn't get the 11 by 11. <sighs> yeah, they are difficult sizes to source. If I wanted to change my mind and go to black, all the sizes are available in black, with the exception of there are no black inner pots. I could go black with white pots. And then I thought, yeah, no, just wait, no rush. Those ridiculous lalias can wait. Anyway, got my lava rock. I was hoping not to have to buy lava rock again because the bag is so big. I don't need this size for what I'm planning to do. However, it is what it is. Now I have large lava rock and I can go to sorting and doing all that fun stuff when it gets dark, rainy and horrible again for the next four days, possibly. I'm going to be pretty busy because lava rock is very, very dirty to begin with. Okay, what's next, what's next? Let me see, let me see. I want to open the bag of Lekka with you. So we're going to now, oh, get this out of the way. I don't like condensation, not even in lava rock. Hey, King, are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Hi, look at you, good boy. You stay there, oh. 
I was hoping he would stay there. I know, I know. I, I, I ruined it for you. Anyway, I don't want him around the tripod because he leans against it and does the jiggle, you know? Don't want that. Anyway, this little package came the other day. Thank you so much. If you want to be named, then please, you know, leave me a comment. I can thank you once again there. I'm always uncertain who wants to stay anonymous when they help me out with support, the Orchids Fund. So this was seaweed and cow mag, and somebody was so kind to get me some seaweed. I've got the cow mag, it's already been unboxed, but I thought for this little supplies video, supplies, <laughs> I was gonna do it right here. So thank you so, so much for supporting the Orchids. Now, the reason I'm unboxing this here, and not just what I did with my cow mag, because it's the same product that I always use, is because I've changed my seaweed. The last time, let's say the last, hmm, let me get, let me think, the last year, year and a half, I have not been happy with the quality of the seaweed, the kelp max that I've always used. It came out the color of tea, but pale tea, and I don't like that one bit. And then it also had little lumps on the bottom, so it had kind of separated. I couldn't find the bigger bottles either, and I was feeling as though I was getting ripped off. But, you know, cold, dark winters, what do you do? You look, research, and look for supplies. <laughs> and here I found this one. Also, something I want to be able to source within Europe for the future. So the packaging will come very, very useful. I am not affiliated. This was not recommended to me. It wasn't suggested to me by anybody to make a video on. This was just me finding something that I think is going to work. So we've got the hydro. Yep, that's us. If you want to use it in the soil, that's fine. And also in cocoa fiber. So yeah, I think this is going to be okay. Now, what I was looking for in my research, let me see that we get <laughs> the language here. I was looking for a specific species of seaweed, and if I don't see that in the ingredients things here, I'm gonna put the name up that I was looking for in order to get something as good, if not equivalent, to kelp mats. Sorry about the background noise. The east side is being used for filming today, but I don't see the name. It's cold pressed and I'll put the species up because I couldn't find kelp or anything like that in any of the seaweeds in my research. Now there's also something called kelp pack, but I couldn't source that here in Europe. It, I don't know. Anyway, I moved away from kelp, got myself something and I have not opened it just yet. We'll do a little, you know, testy look-see. Oh, but it feels, it doesn't feel sloshy. Let me see if I can hold it towards the mic. You hear that glugging? It doesn't feel sloshy. The other one started to feel sloshy. So this is nicely concentrated. Well, we shall see. This is our seaweed starting 2023. And now let's go and check out <clears throat> the quality of the lecker. And by that, I mean, is it dirty lecker? Dirty lecker for me is if the lecker is broken and has plenty of little shards in it, as I did have in 2021. So fingers crossed that uh, this is now, again, good stuff. This is the brand I've been using for years and years and years. It comes from Portugal. Hello, Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents. And it's the only brand that I can find locally here in my area that doesn't float. Yes, I know, floating lecker, who'd have thunk, right? <clears throat> Welcome to Spain, we got floating lecker. So, the moment of truth. Oh, my beautiful clean bucket that should be full of nice RO water, but that will only be inaugurated when it gets hotter. I store RO water in there, now I can use it for lecker. Seeing as it's going to rain, this looks promising. This looks promising. My daughter's got the touch because I don't like bags I cannot see the product in. That's the problem. They used to have clear bags. They changed to not clear bags and I got really suspicious about that back in the day. But this looks promising and it's at the bottom of the bag. Let's have a look. A little bit of noise pollution and that is not traffic. Ooh. Now, 
the dust is not what I'm looking for when I'm saying dirty liquor. I am looking for shards. Did I get it all? And seeing as it's going to rain, I'm going to leave this tub outside and just let the rain start leaching it before boiling. Okay, we've got some broken ones. That's to be expected. I'm not fussed about some broken ones. Of course, this is only first glance, but I do, when I clean my lecker, I do pick out the ones that are really damaged and I get rid of the shards as well for my pots, but I keep the shards. So when I talk about dirty lecker, I'm not so much addressing the dust, of course, that is obvious dirt. I am addressing broken bits of lecker like this. These do not get into my pots. If we have little markings, little damages like that. Let me see, sorry about the dirty hands now. That's fine, I don't mind that at all. And also a damaged one like this when it's chipped like that. I can get away with that, I don't mind that either. But it's these bigger ones. When the surface area is really compromised or really, really cracked and I'm really having issues pointing with dirty hands, I'm sorry. So you see these shards, I sort them out and I save them in little containers just in case I need something for crocking, filling or airing out another pot with like maybe ceramus, something like that. Nothing gets thrown away. But all in all, yeah, I'm okay. I'm, uh, for now, I'm, uh, the more I dig, uh, yeah, mm, 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 yeah, ish, ish. But it's not as bad as it used to be. The moment of truth will come when I really get down and dirty, which I feel like right now. <laughs> anyway, back to the nice shiny white pots. Whew. Let the cleaning begin. Hooray! Yes, I'm very upbeat today because it's, you know, 20 degrees. Woo! So happy. Tomorrow it'll be Michelin Man style -y, and the temperatures will plummet again continuously. So while we're out here, let me just give you a little bit of a bloom update on my Symphidium beach balls. That's what I called her anyway, because check this out. Of course, again, it's gorgeous, it's lovely, and as of tomorrow, the weather deteriorates and my Symphidium blooms are just opening, which probably means we're going to have some issues with them and they won't last as long. But isn't that beautiful? So she has sugar magnolia as a parent. Vanessa Ambrosia and sugar magnolia. I call her beach balls because of how she has the markings like that, like beach balls. But you can clearly, clearly see the magnolia resemblance here in the blooms. Love them. What a shame. And again, typical. The weather is doing a switcheroo just as these blooms open. Anywho. Hope you enjoyed my little supplies video. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to coming through on the other side of the dark and cold days and nights. Hope that you will be with me at that time. But in the meantime, have yourself a fabulous day. That one condition remains though, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.